Hello, fellow truth seekers. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. Um, so good news. This should be a really positive full moon. It is a full supermoon in Scorpio. And yes, it will be intense, but it's going to be intensely loving, intensely compassionate, intensely healing. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we're getting a reprieve. This happens at 3.45 a.m., and that's Pacific Standard Time. So, 3.45, right? We've been taking the steps. We've been doing the work and we're being rewarded. We're being rewarded with healing. This takes place at 17 degrees um, and that's Scorpio and Taurus, right? The sun is in Taurus, moon is in Scorpio. So once again, we're bringing it in Scorpio is the, you know, it's the death card, it's transformation. And Taurus is very earthy, right? So this is kind of that turning point, right? Three, four, five. Five is the change, right? We're finally kind of getting ready to move into that six, right? The harmony, the peace. You know, we're still at five. But we're getting this reprieve, this healing. And not only... Is it at 17 degrees, which is the star, of course, right? That healing. It's at 20 minutes of those signs. And that is the judgment card, right? Rebirth. And this is 2020. Yeah. Balance. And, you know, the really cool aspect that's happening with this is... Neptune is sextiling Mercury. Neptune is in Pisces. Once again, very healing energy, spiritual energy, right? These are the dreams. Um, this is the blue planet. You know, we've been talking about this blue flame love. And it's sextiling, which is a harmonious aspect. You know, the six, right? Mercury and Taurus. So it's like this loving, you know, this loving earth and, and sky, right? This, this has been coming up over and over again in the readings. This, you know, the earth meeting the sky. And this is that moment here. This is that rebirth that's happening. And so this, we've been seeing, you know, that level up. This might be where this is happening, right? This is that completion that passed through the other side, right? Coming back out of the cave. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. And Pluto is even sitting in Taurus as well. Pluto is the planet of transformation, of intensity, sitting at seven degrees, right? Once again, spirit and earth. So, yeah, you know... I feel like that's all I have to say today. I really do. Odd. <laughs> all right, we'll leave it there and we'll see what the cards have to say. Hello, my beautiful Taurians. I hope you are all doing well. So my name is Christiana. I will be performing this reading for you today regarding the energies that will be affecting you this full moon in Scorpio occurring on May 7th. This is from the 7th through the 22nd. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, as my readings do tend to be of a more spiritual nature. And there's your card. We have Love at the bottom of the deck, the Heart Chakra. And this will be the chakra that needs the most work and this is interesting because when I was doing your uh, oh I 
if I can get it out. The meditation beforehand, and I go through all the chakras. <laughs> this was maybe a little overactive. Um, <laughs> it was, you're fired up. Um, so, hmm. Determination. And we're going to get a little bit of clarification with this deck, with this Wisdom of the Oracle. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using, I do have them. This keeps happening. I get a whole bunch. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm asking for clarification and they're like, okay, we have a whole lot to say about that. All right, we have TikTok at the bottom of the deck which is about divine timing. So determination. Go the distance, loyal heart, and imagine, imagine. Oh my goodness, okay. So that's pretty cool, guys. This is, you know, we have love at the bottom here. Oh my goodness, and underneath that we have dreams. And this is like the dreams, this is the heart, and this is determination. <laughs> That's kind of wild. All right. So, you're going to have to uh, be determined to go the distance for love. All right, guys. So... Um, sorry about that. I just was unhappy with that. And yeah, I just changed it around. So I want to remind everyone that we do take a look at all the underlying energies at the end of the reading. So we're going to get our main messages from the art oracles this time. See what they have to say. Poor Taurus, please. Hmm. Okay. I feel like that's... Okay. Woo! We got Prince. PJ Harvey is at the bottom of the deck. Man, this is the first time Prince has come out. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay. Prince was the last one out, so we're going to put it in... Andy Warhol was the first one. Okay, you know, we've got Damien Hurst, Tina Turner, Marvin Gaye, and Leonard Cohen. I'm going to get these sorted out, and I'll be back. All right. So it started raining. If you hear uh, that, hopefully it will be just be, like, nice, right? Um, because rain is cleansing, right? And it even looks like it's raining on prints here. <laughs> it is purple rain after all, yes. So, all right, what I'm seeing here is like a transformation of self. We see Andy Warhol and we see him several times with different colors, different, like through different viewpoints, right? So it's like, and then we have Damien Hurst here with the shark all cut up, right? Like he's dissecting it. So I feel like this is an analyzation of the self, right? Probably of the past with Tina Turner here. Um, it says purge your life of whatever brings you down. So there's an analy analyzation of your life, of yourself. You're transforming, you're transforming your life here. So we have, uh, we had the makings of a star, right? And here's Marvin Gaye with the, the stars shooting out from behind him. And this is healing, right? Sexual heal healing and determination. Ain't no mountain high enough, right? <laughs> so, and for love. Yeah, there's a very sexual... Uh, a side of Marvin Gaye. And so the most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. 
right? So this is that transformation again, right? What in your life no longer serves you? And I'm also drawn to like, you know, the orange, the orange, the orange. There's or a lot of orange right here in the middle, which is that sacral creative chakra. That's interesting. And maybe that's just, you know, that's the balance, right? We've got to keep the fire. <clears throat> that's why I felt it so strongly to, you know, get through this more, getting into the sacral, the more uh, emotional aspects of it, right? That's, it's not an easy thing to do. Then we have Leonard Cohen here, and, you know, that's the grounding, right? He's very deep, his voice is, you know, <laughs> and then Prince is like, ah, you know, <laughs> So it's a, it's a, we've got to get grounded in order to fly, right? And that is, you know, this is what all we have to go through. And with Prince here, and it says here, learn to live in the intervals between events, right? And then here it says, your dream home lies outside of time. And then we have Tick Tock at the bottom of the deck so this you know I don't feel I feel like this transformation this this time frame is a bit longer right but don't let that derail you that's what they're saying this is going to take determination you have to really stick to it to get to this right and imagine that is that manifestation. That is that, you know, if you can imagine it, you can be it. This is, Prince showed up for you guys. This is the first time he's come out. And I mean, he is the purple one. He is... I mean, he's that perfect embodiment of the masculine and the feminine. very you know it's it's purple which is that third eye chakra this is taking off and flying if you're willing to really get rooted grounded and go through you know the purging the healing and kind of you know be cool with the waiting, right? Then you can really take off. Because transformations don't happen overnight. You know? Wanting can be better than having. Give your 15 minutes some time. <clears throat> if we go through this process and we do the work, then, you know, it's going to be more than that 15 minutes, right? And there's love. Anything that you can imagine, you can achieve. You just have to be willing to put in the time, the effort, the healing. See what the tarot has to add to this. For Taurus, please. Woo! Taurus. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. We have five of cups at the bottom of the deck. And uh, look at how PJ Harvey and this five of cups go together. <laughs> There's a little bit of um, glumness and regret and disappointment in those. All right. But look, we have this Ace of Cups that came over and knocked Andy Warhol out of the way. You know, that wanting 
can be better than having. <laughs> but, mm -hmm, that's healing, that's healing. Judgment in reverse, interesting. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Seven of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so with this Seven of Wands here, I see this is like, you know, telling you to kind of seclude yourself, right? This can be about being defensive and protecting your energy. And with this, you know, we see you doing that, kind of like taking you away from... Uh, other energies, right? Outside energies and doing this inner work, right? The uh, going within, doing the inner work, meditating, and in time, you know, this leads to the rebirth, right? It's not going to necessarily be, like I said, overnight, which is why I think it's in reverse, but it's going to come if you do the inner work. There'll be healing, right? Three of Swords followed by the Ace of Cups. And I'm, you know, this blue heart here reminds me of this imagine, plus the loyal heart, right? All you have to do is imagine it, do the work, and there you go. And then we have, you know, the rain here once again. And here it's blowing this way, right? Towards the past. And here, coming towards the future with that healing. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And I feel like, you know, this is that, for me, the Knight of Swords typically, especially sitting beside the Ace of Cups, this is a truth. This is self-love. This is one love, right? This is, you know, a, a warrior for truth. And when you find it, when you find this, this self-love, right, this is what gives you that courage to move forward with your truth, to take off, to take flight, right? The prince was a Gemini. Me and him share the same birthday. I love it. And Knight of Swords is a Gemini um, card. So there's, there's this uh, air energy about it. That you're going to be embodying which is you know gemini is very mutable right and taurus is very grounded we see that grounded you know so there's this balance that's coming in i like it And this is the first time we see blue sky after, you know, we ha see it here. Um, judgment, we're going within, so I'm not really counting that. But, you know, we're kind of cordoned off. And even with the Ace of Cups, it's, it's kind of a gray, neutral background. We finally get to move forward here. After we do this inner work, which leads us to our truth, to our love of self. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get a piece of art. <laughs> the dogs are going crazy. I apologize, guys. I'm going to ignore them. All right, for Taurus, please. I'm already here and right, right, okay. Oh my God, I just got this. I just did this for Aries. Same exact page, but I went to the left for them. Interesting, interesting, okay. What does this mean that it's the same exact? I feel like this is asking you to look at the state 
of things. I feel like at this point in time, right, there's a lot to be purged, right? There's a lot to be cleaned out. And there's a child here, this inner child, the inner child. We're going back to the inner child again. That needs to be nurtured. And uh, you've... I'm, I'm pulled to the, the spindle over here. And the fact that you can weave gold out of, out of nothing. Like, you're able, you're, go, you're able to transform this. And then we have over here. You know, because they had both. Right? You can weave this out of this. Because they're both connected. Because with Aries, they were both connected. That is craziness. <laughs> and there's a humility that needs to be there. Right? Once again, this balance. The balance between the opulence and the... I guess poverty, you know, it's like this right now, you know, this, this makes me think of, of politics and I don't really want to go there, you know, or it just, I guess the state of affairs of the day, you know, there is this great divide, right? Between those living in with riches and the the peasants, right, of the day. And I feel like maybe, you know, you're maybe you're an all or nothing kind of person. And there needs to be a balance. We need to find the middle road. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'm drawn to the wild unknown archetypes for closing guidance. Closing guidance for Taurus, please. Closing guidance for Taurus. And then we'll take a look at the underlying energies. Closing guidance for Taurus, please. Closing guidance for Taurus. Okay, if we don't get it in a second, I'm just going to pull it. Closing guidance for Taurus, please. Yeah. I'm going to pull it. All right. The mask in reverse. Yeah, we've got the comic at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, that, I mean, like, and look, we've got, it's sitting right on top of judgment here. Make sure that... It's number six, 61, yeah. A seven. So we've got two sevens here, three sevens, actually. And uh, this is 1661, right? Loyal heart. That's a mirroring number. We have this. I'm telling you guys, I mean, like, it's going to take some work, but, but uh, there's so much goodness coming your way. We just have to be, we need to analyze who you are. Like, I feel like, you know, you've got, different faces perhaps that you put on for different people because we see, you know, all of this dissected as well. Right, the death of 
some aspect of yourself, some, the mask, right? Taking off the mask. All right, let's, let's read from the book here. All right. We often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity, yet contemplate the possibility that the mask permits our true identity to be revealed. It allows. The mask gives voice to that which was previously rejected. When this card appears, enact the side of you that is seeking expression, yet was never given a role to play on the stage of your life. <clears throat> you are in the realm of theater, so anything is a possible. Anything is possible. Speak with the other's voice. Embody the other's limbs. Ooh, they're talking about the other. Interesting. You are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self. There may be mischief and deception around, and others may be trying on new masks too. No one is sure who is who. It's likely that you've become so attached to a single ma mask that you need to fall face forward into this perception bending time. Trust it. Interesting. Yeah, this is the mask that you need to take off, right? This single mask that you've applied to yourself because, you know, this is what's keeping you from moving forward, right? This is where we've been with the boots, right? You got to take off the boots. You got to take off the mask. What's keeping you where you are? Try on some new masks, right? Try on some new masks. Interesting. Think of a mask or costume you wore that felt empowering, marvelous, or fun. Who was it you were being? Is that who still within you? As the Zen Cohen suggests, meditate on your original face, the one you had before your mother and father were born. Ooh, that's really getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these underlying energies. So we have the comic, TikTok. I'm going to put PJ Harvey over here. The Five of Cups. And love. Yeah, so... When in doubt, swim to new ground, right? That's what we have to do. And she's on, you know, this is these two cups behind behind her. Jam with others, but remain the lead. Redream past lives. Yeah, this is like going over those, uh, the parts of our past that just need to be let go, right? We And, um... This, finding this unconditional love for self, I feel. Letting go of the past and embracing this new world you're going into. And part of the, you know, the way of getting there is try on the mask of the comic, right? Try to have a light-hearted view of things joke about it right we see kind of like a, a little tear coming out the side here I mean, it makes me think of like robin williams right he's funny as all get out and he could make a lot of things but there was still this sadness within him because he was wearing a mask maybe one that he didn't feel he could take off right this is just one mask we've got to Explore different aspects of ourselves. And then we get to TikTok here, which is about divine timing. And love coming in. And I think that the sooner that we do this work and we find this love of self, the sooner we find the other, right? 
because that other is out there. You may have even, I mean, I've seen your cards. I've been doing these readings, and you all have, I think you've met the person, and maybe that's, you know, maybe it's not working out right now, but the reason it's not working out right now is because you need to do the self-healing. You need to do the inner work. You need to take off the mask, the boots. <laughs> <laughs> Try on a different pair. One that's a little lighter, right? Yeah. All right. All right, Taurus. I hope that that was helpful. I hope it resonated. If so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. And until next time, much love.